Hi hey guys, this is VSL, Bloodspin Lizard back again, and, well, I thought I'd give you guys something that, for those who have the Wii Homebrew channel, which is the menu that I'm on right now. Personally, it's something I've been kind of looking for. Is there somebody to test ROM files in this emulator here on the Wii Homebrew channel, Wii 64? The one I'm going to be testing, I'm going to be first one I'm going to be testing, if I can find it, is this one, Yoshi's Story. I want to see if this by chance works, and to show you guys if it does work or not. Come on, hurry up, don't have all day. And I'll be doing more of these. If you guys want to see a specific N64 ROM file tested on this emulator, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. Now, let's see if it works. Play game. Nintendo. Okay. I just heard the Nintendo. And this is normally where the story book will be opening. Oh, okay. This is Yoshi's story, by the way, if you haven't figured it out. Let's go into story mode and let's see what. Oh, it is kind of going a bit slow. They're not showing the freaking level. They're showing... Oh, okay. So I can't go to any level. Just for demonstrative purposes, I guess I'll just go to number one. And see how much farther this is gonna go. That's where the lucky fruit thing is. This is where I'd be choosing Yoshi. I can't see anything. WTF. Okay. Background is flashing constantly. It's moving kind of slow. I can't... Okay, this is definitely very weird, but that's the purpose of the test. To find out what ROM files actually work on Wii 64. I just got some fruit. Okay, I got really can't show much here. Apparently, this is what happens with Yoshi's Story on Wii 64. So, until next time, guys. Blood Spitting Lizard says goodbye.